Hey friends, it's good to be with you again. Today we're going to talk about feeling excluded. I don't know if you've ever felt that way. I'm going to guess you have. I think all of us at one time or another feel excluded. I'm going to share a few poems with you and maybe say a few words. This, this first poem is called Me Too. My heart beat very loudly. I heard the teacher say, we're going to work in little groups, so choose your group today. And students started moving around so rapidly till once again, no one was left to partner up with me. It's hard outside the circle, Lord, and working on my own. I feel like I'm invisible. I feel so all alone. And then my Jesus answered with gentleness anew. Whenever they've excluded you, then I'm excluded too. Romans 8.11 tells us, And those of us who have accepted Jesus as Savior have the Holy Spirit indwelling us. So friends, if you do know the Lord as your personal Savior, you're never alone. That's what God tells us. The next poem I want to share is called Outside the Circle. Here I sit outside the circle close enough to see those inside. When did the circumference move? Or did my distorted vision show me what I wanted to see? I used to talk circle talk, nodding, agreeing, half smiling, Somewhere along straight lines, I started speaking my mind. The nodding stopped. The conversation shifted. Now, I'm outside looking in. I've had time to think. Maybe I don't want to be in the circle after all. It never got me anywhere. How about you? Have you felt outside the circle? This one's called Enough. Sometimes, Lord, I'm overwhelmed by everything I see, and people that I leaned on are no longer there for me. He said, My child, if everyone you knew would disappear, I wonder, would it be enough just knowing I I was here? That's an ouchy question, isn't it? Because after all, God is our sufficiency. And this last one I just wrote right before we came on, and it's called Sit By Me. It doesn't take much effort to reach out and include. Sometimes people are reserved when they are perhaps new. It doesn't take much effort, and yet you might agree it sure may make a person's day to hear, come sit by me. You know, friends, sometimes all it takes is a little invitation like that. Sometimes all it takes is a friendly smile. Do you remember when you were somewhere and maybe you were new? It was uncomfortable. It was unfamiliar, but just hearing the words, why don't you sit with us? That really, really helps. So what can we do if we're the ones that are outside the circle? Well, I'll tell you one thing that you don't want to do. Don't listen to the enemy at those times, because he's going to make you feel shame for some reason. He's going to make you feel or he'll, he'll do this, he'll make you feel like there must be something wrong with you that you're outside the circle. Just remember, he's the father of lies, and he lives to kill our joy. He's the original killjoy. So you don't want to listen to what he has to say. You just want to just step away from that. I want to pray for us, and if any of you are hurting or needing a special prayer, you can message me and I'd be glad to pray for you. Or you can put it in the comments and I'd pray. I read every comment. 
I sure hope Facebook doesn't mess that up and that some of them are filtered out. I would feel bad telling you I read every comments and then finding out later that some were not there. So I want to pray for us. May I? Father God, I come before you and I thank you, Lord. I thank you for who you are. I thank you that you love us so much that you promised us that you are available to us. <coughs> Excuse me. 24-7. We can call on you at any time and know we're never going to get a busy signal. And I really believe, Lord, that when we pray, you lean in just to hear every word. And I believe when our words don't make sense, that you read our hearts. Lord, you are all knowing. You are all kindness and goodness and gentleness. You love us like no one else has ever loved us or will love us. You loved us enough to send your, send your son Jesus to die for us. And you want to spend eternity with the likes of us. Father, you are so, so kind. Lord, I pray for Corey and her dad. And I just pray that you continue to give him peace, Lord. I pray for Corey on that journey. I think, Lord, of other listeners or watchers right now, and I pray, would you meet their needs? Thank you that you are Jehovah Jireh. The Lord will provide. Thank you that you are Jehovah Rapha, the God who heals. And thank you, Lord, that you are always with us and always available to us. Lord, let us get to the place where if everyone stepped out and it was just you and us, that that would be enough, for you truly are exactly what we need. Thank you for each person that tunes in. Thank you for the comments and the likes and all the acknowledgments. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to share my poems, my stories, and your word with those that watch. I just commit the rest of the day to you, Lord, and I commit these friends to you. And I pray this in your son's precious and holy name, in Jesus' name, amen. I hope that you had something that you heard that might encourage your heart. That's my hope. That's my prayer. And if there's something that you are hoping that I would talk about sometime, will you drop that in the comments? I'd be glad to have even more feedback on what you'd like me to talk about or address. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. I will see you next time. Bye.